Hello and welcome to Wooden Watch to Need and in today's video we will be comparing these two watches and you will be surprised to know that they have much more in common than you would expect. Now these two watches are the Casio B640 or 640 with of course the stainless steel bracelet and the resin case which has been colored to look like stainless steel but in a matte finish and the mythical Mission Impossible watch. This is a new version but I have two more. Let me show you. Here is one more and the third one is somewhere in the boxes. Uh, these are both recent. This one is from 2020 or 2021 and this one is from maybe 2012 or 13. Uh, but I have one from the 90s and you can watch the video that I, maybe I will link somewhere in the description box. I was saying this is the mythical D W290, the Mission Impossible watch, and you will learn that these watches have practically the same functions. Let's see. So here we are in regular timekeeping mode. You have your day of the week, day of the week, month and day of the month. Of course, I haven't yet adjusted the time on this one, which is not set in uh, daily saving time. So let's make them blink in adjust mode to see that as you can see from the top left corner of both watches you can select the year which is now of course set for 2024 2024 and they both have a perpetual calendar that goes up to 2099 so that's one thing so you don't have to worry about leap years you can see that this one the B640 has a fancy symbol here. Well, watch if I press the top right button on this one. That magical symbol appears. Can you see that they are the same? And this magical symbol is the one that governs the blinking of the watch every time your uh, beeping signal will be heard. So if you set a timer, when the timer reaches zero, the whole display of these two watches will light up and blink. And the same goes for the alarm. Or if you set your watch to beep at the stroke of every hour, then the display will light up for a fraction of a second. So these are two of the similarities already. Then what about the functions? After the regular timekeeping mode, we have our alarm and here we have our alarm. So can you see that this is just one alarm, of course, but can you see those dashes up in the top right corner of the displays? Well, those allow you to set a specific month in which you can have your alarm go off. Can you see that both the month dashes are blinking and if you press the adjust thing once more, the other dashes are blinking and those are for a particular day of the month to be chosen. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The only thing is that on the DW290, you increase your values with the top right bottom, whereas on the B640, you increase your value with the bottom right button. Well, now let's select a day like this. So you will, you can set your alarm to go off on one particular day. So every fourth of the month, in this case, your alarm will beep at 6.31 or 1 o'clock, depending on what watch you're using. You can set your alarm to go off all the days of a particular month or, of course, one day of one particular month. And this is a cool feature, albeit not very useful. Let's go back to our home screen. So after the alarm, we have our timer. And in both watches, when you're in timer mode, you can still see your local time, your current time displayed in the top right portion corner of the screen, which is very useful if you ask me after your timer oh yeah your timer can be set to auto repeat as far as the timer is concerned what this lacks what the dw290 lack is the 
auto repeat function which <laughs> no i was dead wrong see also the dw290 has the auto repeat function see here auto this means that you can set a timer and when it reaches zero it will beep and flash if you have the flashing uh, option turned on and then it will start counting down again automatically and then you have your stopwatch and the stopwatch functions are the same on this one and notice that you always have your local time your uh, current time displayed on the uh, top right corner of the screen so pretty much the same functions but on this one of course you have 200 meters water resistance and i think this is a bit more shockproof even though it, this is not a G-Shock than this one, whereas this one has only, in inverted commas, 50 meters of water resistance, which in Casio terms, this means a lot because they're quite conservative with their ratings. And they're both great watches. Functions are great and they're relatively cheap watches with really great functions. And there's a question that I have for you have you subscribed if you haven't please do consider subscribing it greatly helps the channel and it gives me an excuse to buy more watches that i don't need because i can always say that i do it for the channel i do it for the good of the people that have to know how to work these beauties even though i myself know that this is a lie i do it because i like these watches even though i don't need them because i have too many of them well that's it i'll see you on the next of wouldn't what you don't need. Ciao.